Hey YouTube, I wanted to give you an update on the apple cider vinegar gird slash acid reflux fix that I've been doing for a couple of years. Um, when I made that video a long time ago, I did not expect it to be so popular and I didn't really include all the information you need to uh, successfully fix your acid reflux issues. So I'm going to kind of just cover all of that real quick and then I'm going to talk about um, fixing the opposite case where you have too much stomach acid in addition and one of my success stories with somebody else. So just real quick, I, um, I had low stomach acid. Um, it did not respond to PPI medication, proton pump inhibitor medications where uh, like omeprazole, lansoprazole, etc. which are usually prescribed at doctor's offices whenever you have any kind of issue with your stomach at all. They do not test if your stomach acid is too high, too low, the pH, the amount, etc. They just give you a pill and send you on your way. That's the standard way. And I was prescribed one of those medications and my digestion got worse and my symptoms uh, got more severe. So I, um, I had experimented with a number of things and realized that my stomach acid was most likely low so that if I added acid into my stomach, then maybe I would actually start digesting food again and get rid of my, my symptoms of just like burping and not digesting food and like uh, like throwing up when I would <laughs> bend over and you know, uh, undigested food would come out. I was like, holy shit. So I, um, I stumbled upon apple cider vinegar and realized that it, uh, it actually has a pH of about 3.0, 3.2, something like that, which is well within the range of what your stomach acids should be. So I started um, out by drinking like a single little glass where I filled it up to right about here and the rest is water. And instantly I started digesting food and I was like, holy shit. And then as the day progressed, my symptoms started to go away. And so I became sort of almost like a religious adherent to consuming that every single day. Um, and um, for about a couple of weeks, I had a little bit of apple cider vinegar every day in a glass about, you know, right to about there and then the most water. And my symptoms started to go away and I needed it less and less. So three years later, um, I only have apple cider vinegar maybe once or twice a month at most. And it's usually when I'm eating a really protein heavy meal. So I can't say that I'm cured exactly. I can say that I'm on a maintenance where I don't need it as much, but my digestion has improved a lot and I don't really have symptoms. And if, if I ever have like a hit, little bit of a hint of a symptom, I have the vinegar and then it's gone. So that's worked for me. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give, uh, Braggs another, uh, or Bragg another shout out. Um, yeah, and uh, if you're if you're taking this stuff long term, I must warn you that one of the neg well, one of the only negative effects that I know of is if you are drinking it every day, multiple times a day for years. This is acidic enough that it can erode your tooth enamel, so um, you will want to drink it with a straw. And that is the only known long term side effect, which uh, really beats the side effects of other medications taken for this issue. Now, I have an interesting uh, little discovery lately. Uh, I have a girlfriend who's had like very severe heartburn all of her life, and she got started on the proton pump inhibitor drugs, like uh, I think she takes omeprazole, and she's been on that for an entire two years, and one of these side effects is um, chronic kidney failure due to nutrient deficiency. And you can have a, a large spectrum of nutrient deficiencies because you do not have stomach acid anymore from taking that. And she, I noticed she's got these issues and I'm like, how long have you been on that? She's like two years. I'm like, you're supposed to be on that for a couple of weeks or like a couple of months. And I don't know why it is they're still prescribing it to you. We have to get you off that. So I proposed an elimination diet originally, but she couldn't really follow that. And then I was like, well, there's gotta be another way to get you off that drug. Um, and in the meantime, I'd had her supplementing all the things that it depletes, like all the minerals and vitamins and things, and she was doing a little bit better. But um, uh, I, I had found out that if you have too much stomach acid, you can actually take apple cider vinegar and it will dilute your stomach acid with and, and magically make you able to get off the PPI drugs. And I was like, wow, I wouldn't have guessed that that was the case because if you have too much acid, adding more just doesn't sound like a 
really brilliant idea, but what I had her do was take two two little, um, maybe this is like double the size of a shot glass, but like two glasses a day at the ends of the day with, you know, this much, maybe a fourth of it is apple cider vinegar, the other, the other three fourths is water. And then two days into that, go off your drug. Now it's known that there's a rebound effect from uh, getting off these acid blocker drugs, which you'll end up with an insane heartburn. She only got, she started out with no heartburn oh, in the two days of taking um, the vinegar and taking her drug. And then like when she discontinued the, the drug, three days later she had a little bit of heartburn and then the next day it went away. So she's been taking uh, apple cider vinegar shots twice a day. She's got off the drug without much of a rebound and she is not having heartburn anymore. And I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. And I've noticed in her that her the, the color of her face is a little more flesh toned. She's a little bit less pale, so I can tell that her health is better. So I'm like, wow. <laughs> I just I just I actually didn't expect it to work. I told her this is an experiment. I've heard of people online doing this and getting off their drugs this way. And do you want to try it instead of doing the elimination diet? Because that was really hard for you. I'm like, holy crap, I've replaced a twenty dollar a month medication that destroys your health with a six dollar a month medication that improves your digestion so that's a pretty damn good outcome <laughs> so i would say that regardless of what kind of stomach acid issue you have you should try the protocol of um apple cider vinegar twice a day and, and go from there maybe in the future you might be able to take less uh you might be a sporadic user like me uh, or you may just be on it for life. But regardless, if you have to take it twice a day, your long-term health results will be so much better. I would just say drink it with the straw so that you don't end up risking your tooth enamel getting worn out. Um, but other than that, enjoy. Hopefully you like the taste of vinegar. <laughs> but uh, but uh, not having chronic kidney failure and multiple mineral deficiencies and um, <laughs> you know all the variety of things that can happen is... Uh, a lot better than <laughs> the alternative so yeah um hopefully these videos have been helpful for you um uh one last thing about apple cider vinegar there's a lot of hype about it there's a lot of like hippie woo woo type people that just like love apple cider vinegar and they in particular love Bragg's brand because you know they've been very public about ex extolling the benefits of it but like you don't actually need that brand um you do not need the nutrients that are in it really you just literally need if you have acid problems replace your acid with acid that works that's really all it is um i really wish that modern medicine would acknowledge this um there are even pills that contain uh, acids like betaine uh that will work like uh apple cider vinegar does they can prescribe people that but they don't instead they prescribe them something that fit that masks the problem but eventually kills you so uh, it's just, it's an insane world we live in, <laughs> but uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you, and uh, thanks for watching. Ciao.